Alrighty, I have a pretty big construction update for you guys today, and this one's actually packed with some tea, some cool angles of Snoopy's Racing Railway, a front gate soft reno to deal with the huge crowds. So we're just gonna go over so much information. First off, right in front of you is Tundra Twister. And boy, they're working Saturdays and Sundays, rain or shine now. So as you're seeing in front of you, Tundra Twister is up. The white bracing is temporary, okay? I, you guys can obviously put two and two together and tell that that's temporary, but I'm just gonna say it. It's temporary, it's just to hold it in place. Stoopy's Racing Railway isn't far behind on schedule, even though it looks like it, but once again, when I tell you these construction projects really quick sometimes, um, so uh, they're not working weekends, but Tundra Twister is working day and night weekends, um, and yeah, honestly, I, I know I keep saying this, but I'm super excited for Tundra Twister. It's going to be the best flat ride in the park, in my opinion. Um, it's going to be the most clickbait attraction at Wonderland next to Yukon Striker as well. Um, over at Front Gate, they're ripping the brick walls out and they have gutted that building. So for those of you that have been paying attention to our videos and watching our podcast, Canada's Wonderland has the highest pass space in the entire chain now. This season coming, I don't know why or what the reasoning is. I mean, it's obvious a lot of Canes don't have money to travel, so a Wonderland season pass just makes sense for the family. They have an astronomical amount of season pass holders, so they are having to do a very last minute renovation um, in order to help with guest flow coming into the park, okay? They're also been working on infrastructure. Again, this does not mean that a front gate reno isn't down the road. This is very temporary what they're doing. Very last minute, very temporary. This has been said to us previous seasons ago that, that, that what they had already done was temporary. Now, this is temporary too. Uh, I got this footage of them testing Extreme Skyfire. I thought it was so funny. I just love seeing the human bodies go bluk. Um, but yeah, um, I'm like, um, Tundra Twister could potentially be done construction by the end of this week. I'm, I'm going to guess anywhere between Wednesday and Friday. Um, they are also working on the service road around Vortex. I, I it's it's too late for what I thought was going to happen to Vortex to happen, um, but I'm starting to wonder, are they going to try and paint it in this last three weeks before the park opens? Because that, that's going to be interesting. Like, I know the park at an, Ace event, at an Ace event did say that they wanted to paint Vortex. It was in their plans, uh, but this seems very last minute. But they've been laying down some stone, river stone. Um, so usually they're doing that when it comes to in the lake for cherry pickers and stuff to go in there and work on Vortex. Again, it's a little last minute for anything serious like we had heard. So all that's left is a, a paint work that I could guess. Um, so I guess we'll have to wait and see. Um, Clockworks is looking really good. She's coming back together. Um, and that paint looking fresh from even this far away. You can tell it's very vibrant. Love it. Super excited to see it in person. This old Kingswood vehicle has popped up. So Kingswood concert merchandise. Um, so this has just popped up in the, uh, the storage lot. Thought that was really interesting. So I wanted to film it. Um, but yeah, um, I'm trying to think of what's next. There's so much to talk about. Oh, we wandered along the outside of the park. Again, this is not filmed inside the park. This is outside the park along the perimeter fence. Um, here is Vortex's old trains from Kings Island. Some of them have now been used. So what I'm showing you right now, they're, they're taking apart these trains and using some of the, the parts. So um, this is just proof that some of them have been put to use. There's Snoopy's Racing Railway train. It has been taken apart slightly. Again, from what I understand, I do not know this for sure. So take this with a grain of salt. Um, but the the fabricators on site, the sign shop ones, I think they might be doing the Snoopy itself. Um, that's why you see some of this. So they're just working on the actual um, plastic fabrication of the, the train, and then they'll add the Snoopy. That's, that's what I'm guessing. Um, and then here's some really awesome shots of Snoopy's Racing Railway. Again, this is outside the park, outside the perimeter fence. Um, there's the tire second launch. Um, and then they have the station launch just down beside it right there. I guess they'll install the, 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 that piece actually just after this, this weekend. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, but yeah, it's got some really nice shaping. I like called it like the mini Maverick. Like it looks like a tiny little kid's Maverick coaster. Um, it's, it's looking really cool in person, like this close. So I just wanted to show you guys the shots because it really puts the coaster into um, perspective um, for you guys. So I thought I'd show you. Now I'm gonna show the rides testing. So insert some music and there's a lot of rides testing in today's footage. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good one. Bye. Small city thinking.
Twist.